Yeah, it is the Red Men TV. It is the Transfer News Show. And to be perfectly honest, uh, today just couldn't get much better. And so I've decided to sit here um, and just have a nice little chat with you. See your reaction on Alexis McAllister. Uh, if you want to send in some gifts, do head over to the Red Men TV Twitter and send in your reactions there. I'll be reading your comments and we'll also be looking at who you want next in this transfer window. Uh, but yeah, Alexis McAllister, if that song has not been stuck in your head since yesterday when it got released, uh, you're doing it wrong because I'm sat here and all that's going through my head is Jürgen said I've seen you winning with Argentina. I cannot get this out my head. Um, it is a proper bounce tune, isn't it? Um, how are we all feeling then, Reds? Because I am feeling ecstatic. We've already got one through the door before the transfer windows even opened and it sounds like Liverpool are not done there that's for sure um, let's have a look Reese Ward here we'll jump straight into it saying boss signing with the Argentina flag I for Mascherano when he was last year and obviously the likes of Maxi Rodriguez and that I was a young young kid uh, so I'm actually really excited to have um, an Argentine playing for Liverpool nonetheless one that won a World Cup alongside the greatest to ever do it in Messi um, oh Rufus is, is absolutely laid one down here gonna be up there with the Firmino chance all oh, right I mean. I'm all for it. Um, the Firmino chance a proper bounce. That is incredible. That got everyone going. Uh, but yeah, that Alexa song has been stuck in my head on repeat. I'm pretty sure as I went to bed last night, all I heard was, you know, McAllister is magic. And uh, that was it, yeah. Um, incredible. Let's see what we've got. Games for you said hi. Hi, how are you? Are you excited to, to see more of uh, the Reds and their signings? Um Let's see, Beans in here has said, I love him already. There were so many times in the World Cup that I thought he was messy. Wow, what a comparison that is. Actually, there was a journalist we had on the other day, um, and on Redman Plus, that is, and he, he turned around and said, at, at times he thought it was Messi on the ball and then he, he had to do a double take and it was McAllister don't worry I'm not sat here comparing them do not take my uh, words out my own mouth but yeah um, I'm excited um, let's see McCall Alexis is majestic yes only if we could play it without being copyrighted and we could all just have a little dance um honestly Jordan get in yeah is right you love to see it um Oh, another, we've got some mad shouts coming in here. I feel like Big Mac will be our KDB type player. Um, yeah, he, he can uh, he can play, you know, the, the passes that no one can see. I, I think he's a little bit different uh, to Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne is sadly on a different level. Um, but McAllister, yeah, I think he can unlock doors for us. He can be the ball carrier, the one to, to find a pass. Um and, he, you know, he, he used to play as that number 10, so he definitely has attacking instincts where he'll look, uh, where, where he play for Liverpool and what formation um, we'll find out soon. But, yeah, hopefully he can be that because that is... I've always looked at Liverpool when we've rivaled Manchester City for titles and we don't have a, a player like Kevin De Bruyne. We just don't in the midfield. So if he can even have an edge of what uh, Kevin De Bruyne has done for Manchester City, that would be great. John's put McAllister. Uh, Mac looks good in red. He does, doesn't he? Uh, I saw the, um, I think it was uh, some Brighton fans. He was like, it just looks wrong. It looks absolutely perfect over here. Uh, Isaac, let's see who you want. You said, I still want ideally Gavardial, Van de Ven, uh, Kone with a, a C, um, Taram, Gabri Ve <laughs> Vieira, I think you mean Vega, and Chiesa. You know what? <laughs> You've... Um, I think you've made a couple more signings than Liverpool are going to make, but I like who you've put in there. That Chiesa one, I think he doesn't have that high of a, a release clause at the moment in time due to like the the fact that he's been injured and he's not returned very well. Uh, so shout, but um, yeah, some of them. Taram is the one I really want next, and and hopefully he will be the next one. Um, I don't know whether you all believe in Isaac Gavardial. He's maybe out of our price range. Uh, Van der Ven, it looks incredible in terms of speed, my word. Um, Vega, I think it was... Is it Vega? I don't... He was in the Spanish... Um, I think it's Celta Vigo. He looks quite good, to be fair to him. Um, and obviously, Kone, we've been linked with. 
I'm not as I haven't seen as much traction around that one as I have around Taran, but we will see soon. Um, I just want more and more. Just bring me them all. Uh, that song will be an absolute bounce on the cop. Here's the thing. I thought the reaction to that song, I liked it. I sat there and I was like, oh my God, this is so catchy. But I thought a lot of people would absolutely hate it, including Chris Pajak, who does absolutely hate the song. I think it might be growing on him. Um, but I thought people would hate it. I could see it as an away day bounce, an absolute bounce. Uh, at, on the cop, who knows? Hopefully, it's mad that Liverpool potentially postponed um, announcing them yesterday just because we went mad on Twitter with a song that, you know, we've decided the AI's made up for us. Yeah, again, sir. I'd seen ya winning with Argentina. It's right. That's its boss. Um, we love that. Uh, it, it, what a way to start a song, guy. Eh? Um, let's see what else we've got in here. Uh, Alfie B said, I am still convinced with him, especially with Curtis back on form and Bajetic to come back. Uh, you're not convinced with him? Who are we talking about? Sorry. Like, who are we talking about? Are we talking about the player that we've just signed? I mean... Curtis Bach being in form doesn't mean we don't need more midfielders. Uh, and Bajetic is a young lad who sadly had a, a, a stress injury because he's played too much. Um, look, I I don't know who you're talking about here, so I don't know. Um, but I'm excited and I feel like you should be too. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Chris is an old git doesn't like the song because of AI. I mean, I'd rather we, we wrote it. Maybe we did write it and someone's just seen an avenue to get likes and therefore has done this AI generated thing. Who knows? Um, I'm sorry with it. Uh, either way, uh, it, you can't argue that it's a bop. I, uh, I really do enjoy it. Let's have a look of David. We've got, I hope Taram is next. He's a beast and has got a great injury record. Yeah, he does. Uh, he's an absolute tank. Tank. I call him Kanata a unit. And let me tell you, Taram is also an absolute unit. Uh, GRA.B. How are you, Chloe? Great start uh, to the off-season. Yeah, it is, isn't it? You know when you feel like, I needed a break from Liverpool, I needed a break from football, and then they just rope you back in. Uh, it's happened again. I'm ex I just need the season to start tomorrow at this point. I, I need a couple more signings before that, but I'm excited. That's how excited I am. I'm actually thinking I want football back again, which I really wanted it to end. Uh, Magic Mac we've got from Thomas. We've got, let's have a look. Let's go red from Paddy Pan. Let's see. Uh, oh, Isaac Menfiga. Uh yeah, Iman Vega. Anyway, uh, using chat GPT for a chance seems a very city. Yeah, well. Look. Yeah, but here's the thing. I saw someone else post one today. I forgot who it was about, but it was absolutely horrific. And we've ruined it now. The first one is absolutely boss. We're the only one who's actually thought of doing this and it's not turned out that bad. I think that's, I think you say it's funny and you run with it. There was another one that came out today and I was like, no, this is absolutely horrific. It was to Blondie, I think it was. And I love a bit of Blondie, um, but the song was was absolutely a no-go for me. Ali A saying to Ram Kone next. Yeah, I agree. Big fan, big fan. Uh, we all love McAllister already. Um, Cliff, let's see what else. Let's just go through it. Let me know how you're feeling. Uh, big Mac with a Big Mac and an Argentina flag. you love to see it. Um, <laughs> this is good, this, actually. Uh, Mac 10 plays it to Diogo Schotter. Yeah. Okay, get it. Fun. Like it. I like to go slaughter better, but I get the point. It obviously Mac tens are gone. Um I've just ruined your, your joke there by accidentally telling everyone what it was. It makes it less funny now, doesn't it? Uh, let's see what else we've got. We've got Mac 10 could be what we're missing since Coutinho. I remember him. His career went downhill quite fast once he left the Reds. Uh, but he was absolutely boss. He, he didn't have a great song, uh, let's be honest. I take McAllister's song is a little bit better. Um, but yeah, love it. Hopefully we've we've got that player back. Uh, I'd love Mac either left or right side of midfield, but I want him to have the freedom to create chances at will. Yeah, he, he likes to get in and around the area on the left-hand side for Brighton. He obviously tracks back very well. He can play the eight. He can play, you know, a kind of DM in, in two sitting players, um, but he also has the, the license to attack. If you get on a counter break, if he's the one carrying the ball forward for you, trust me, he should have uh, the ability to make chances and create chances. He loves a shot. 
loves shooting on his right foot. Um, so yeah, it, it, it'll be sound and, and uh, I, I think it'll be fine wherever he plays, but I'm excited to see where we play him. And if we have different tactics, different um, kind of formations that we change to at any point, depending on who we're facing. Um, but yeah, oh my God, the amount of... Um, Comments keep getting them in. Um, let's see. We need a player uh, that he can play as a centre back and a right back. I agree. We do. I think we also need a left back, a uh, centre back who can play a left back as well. But we've got Joe Gamer. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, he can't do these roles. Not in this form that he's in. Um, but I think it's more likely Joe Gamer stays than Joel Matip. But yeah, I agree. I think you could argue that you need a centre back who can play left back and a centre back who can play right back. Either or. I think we've been linked with Pavard, which is potentially why people thought, yes, a bit of him can fit into our team. Um, but yeah, let's just let's have a look at, at what else is going on because I'm just excited for the red. Got a super chat, Veronica. Thank you so much. A great signing for us, isn't it? Just you love to see it. Ah, Patrick, here we go. Uh, the Lewis Diaz AI. It must have been Lewis Diaz AI one. It was horrific, absolutely shambolic. Whoever ruined it and made another one needs to be held accountable because at first, just keep the McAllister one and have it as a running joke. We've had we've made an AI who's decided to make our song for us. We're the first to do it. We're dead funny. You ruined it with doing a Lewis Diaz one, and it was absolutely horrific. So I don't know who decided to post that. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Eddie has said the song they should have announced was Return of the Mac. I do like that song as well. It's a, it's a good song, yeah. Mm. I you know we've got many a songs we can we can base this off here. Um, CFM has said, "What do you reckon about Pavard? I don't think we'll get him." I don't know why I said Pavard either. Pavard. No, Pavard, it is correct. Um, I like him. I like him a lot. He's got extreme experience. He's won the Champions League. He's won the Premier League. You know, he's he's played for France. He's won stuff for France. Um, so I reckon he could fit. It's the, the problem that we have is, is he replacing Canate? Because I'm not too sure he is. And um, would he be okay with being the second centre-back slash right-back? Because he's not... If we do do this 4-3-3 inverted system, he's not taking Trent's role because Trent needs to play there. If we go a 4-3-3 and Trent becomes a midfielder, then maybe. Uh, but I don't know whether we're going to do that just yet, to be honest. Um, let's see what else we've got. Uh, big up everyone. He's right. Yeah, love that. Uh, let's see what we, we've got. Guerrero was free. Isn't it mad that league how someone can just spend years at a football club as Dortmund, be adored by fans, then go on a free straight to Bayern Munich? I mean, that 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 league is an absolute joke. <laughs> it's just a joke. Oh, yeah, I'm so glad I'm not a fan of Dortmund because and I, I don't mind Dortmund love the atmosphere um, but if I was connected to that club and saw all of our best players go to our rivals who we couldn't already catch um, yeah I'd be absolutely hurting uh, Chloe's good ain't she oh nice one lad um, really appreciate it uh, we've got Taram and Kone will be the next ones I think so do I um, I'll head over to Twitter and we can have some, a look at some gifts uh, we've got Messi's main man as someone said you love to see it we've got this lovely gif here by the way which I absolutely think is a boss one uh, we've got Kevin McAllister running screaming uh, obviously from home alone a Jürgen Klopp fist bump you, you just love to see it don't you uh, a dance now what is what's the show this is off it's um, Sutton Prince. Fresh Prince of Blair. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> it might have been a little bit before my time. Do not blame me, I swear. Uh, let's see. We've got... Um, I assume this is reference to the song, but I'm loving it either way. Uh, I have a feeling this is um, a guy off Uncharted. Don't know, but I'm, I mean, I'm enjoying it. He looks... This is my favourite one. Uh, we've got a, a little gif here of... Uh, I'm so excited off Elf. What an absolute belter movie that is, by the way. Um, oh, Eric has, has came in and absolutely thrown the place up. Sell Massive and Tiago. Oh. Um... If we can get some decent money for Matip and you can buy a reinforcement, 100% agree. Liverpool needs to already be looking at centre-back, uh, the centre-back area. Matip's getting on now and obviously he's not always available. Thiago is an interesting one. 
I don't think we can sell him in this moment. If Liverpool hadn't made a nightmare in uh, the last transfer window and not and, and like would have actually bought a midfielder, I think that Thiago one's more interesting uh, right about now because of that, because he's been so unavailable. Um, but because we've already got so much to do, I'm not too sure that Liverpool will sell um, Thiago, if I'm being honest. But each to their own. I can see why. I can see the arguments for both of them. Um, but to be honest, Thiago's only got a year left. He probably won't get an extension and you'll just let him go because he's he's bit, he's getting on a bit. If he wins or sort of next season, they'll be sad with that, won't we? Um, oh, Romano said we've opened talks with Tram and Kone. I know I am going to bring this up. Don't you worry. I was just reveling in enjoying my life for, for five minutes. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Chloe is boss when we're all in a good mood. Like today, yeah, obviously. It's... It, who doesn't love Liverpool signing players? Um, get Canate's French mates. I agree. Bring them all. Every single one of them. Pavard, Kone, Taram. Is there anyone else in there? Killian and Bappe. You know, I'd be fine with him as well if if he was another add-on. We'll see how it goes. Uh, you were a great addition to the Redman TV team, boss. Oh, nice one. You're all thinking I'm vain for bringing these up. I don't mean to bring that up. That was just there. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to try and not. Great eyebrows, girl. This is what I will bring up. Thank you for noticing. There is a, a going thing in this office where if I go and get my eyebrows done and no one compliments them the next day, I just don't speak to them anymore. Um, thankfully, everyone's got onto the, the thing that we're doing now. And every time I do go and get my eyebrows done, the next day, half nine in the morning, as soon as I walk through the doors, I get complimented on my nice little eyebrows and my eyelashes. So the team know what is up there. Um, it's, oh my, someone's put Sel Nunes. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Chloe's a boss host, heard it here first. Oh, thank you, Reese. Uh, McAllister is magic once again. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Uh, anyway, let's actually have a look at what's been going on. We'll come back to all the reaction in a second. Um, but Adam Lalana has posted to Instagram, as you'll see here. Um, he put a nice little leaving message to McAllister. It says, elite attitude, massive contribution, and a superb person. Gutted to see you go, but a privilege to play alongside you. As always, Brighton will have plans for what comes next. Good luck for your new adventure. You'll never walk alone. Um, McAllister has been raved about by Deserby, by other teammates, Brighton fans, journalists, about his professionalism, about how, you know, he's... He's really made sure to not take the mick out of Brighton as soon as a bigger team um, comes in for him. And I totally respect that. He seems like a proper professional, a lovely, humble lad. Um, and I'm so excited that we've got him. Uh, also, Lalana potentially sending them our way was, uh, you know... We've we've apparently thought ahead and gave them Lalana so we can bring other players in. We'll probably do it with Milner. Give Milner to Brighton and then Milner helps us get someone. Who knows? Uh, we're now going to have a look at some of the photos because why wouldn't we? Uh, so I'm, I'm on the LFC website now, if we can bring that up. We've got McAllister looking at the back of his T-shirt. Uh, it doesn't look like it actually has. It's surely got to have a number on that. Also, what do you think of this new training top thing here? Big fans or not? Uh, really enjoying it. He's ah, oh, he's just a he's lovely, isn't he? Oh, like he suits red. I don't care what anyone says. This lad suits red. Um, also, can I just mention something? On this photo, you might be able to slightly see he's got this red thin band around his uh, arm and it reminds me so much of Messi because Messi has one around his left foot that was gifted to him. Uh, it also reminds me of Steven Gerrard a little bit. Steven Gerrard used to wear stuff around his, um, his uh, wrists. I absolutely love that. No one else cared about that, but I spotted that straight away. Uh, love it. Um, oh, we've got a very important one here. Oh, no wonder it's not going anywhere. It's because I'm looking at what I'm doing. Adriana's put... Um, shout out to Chloe's eyebrows. Eyebrow lady. She'll... Uh, don't worry. I'll make sure I send her this. Um, yeah. She'll be. She'll put this on her Insta, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see what else we've got. Barella would be amazing... I love Barella. If he could beat City in the uh, Champions League this weekend, I'd love it even more. Back to more glorious photos, though, of Alexis McAllister, uh, because this this is just beautiful. I uh, don't want to say hate, but I dislike Liverpool's 
font on on the back. I like the Premier League font more. So sorry to say it. This one is boss in it. I'm surprised he didn't have to do it. Um, Scout saying would have loved that, but here we are. We've got a song anyway. Um, yeah, just some boss photos that we're all gonna revel in. Hey, anyone else? Like, I feel like I can hear the sound from this photo. Don't know about yous, but I defo think I can there. Um, looking a bit more serious. This is it. Oh, we they've zoomed in on it. Oh, he's got number ten on the back of his. Huh? So you love to see it, number 10 on the back of his tattoo. It, this red band, yeah, just giving me messy vibes. Giving me messy. Um, who else? Who else wears bands? Does anyone Is anyone getting the feel of this? Because I, I don't know why, but this is quite important to me, that. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Uh, I'd imagine some teams will be sniffing around Cisco uh, from Brighton in a season or two. Yeah, he's been boss. Didn't he get goal of the season? I'm pretty sure against Manchester City it might have been. Yeah, he, I don't know how Brighton do it, but they bring in world-class talents out of nowhere. You've never heard of them. And there they go. They signed McAllister for 7 mil. They've sold him for 35 plus potential add-ons. But yeah, um, you love to see it. Uh, moving on then, Paul Ghost has said Liverpool can continue uh, their efforts to rebuild the midfield following Alexis McAllister's signing with France international Kefren Taram, uh, who's one of the handful under consideration. Uh, and like we've mentioned, I think we all really are up for this Taram as being the next player through the door. Six for four, bully everyone in midfield. He's really good going forward, box to box, can do it all. Um, and it, it's really really exciting times uh, as mentioned earlier Fabrizio Romano has put a tweet out saying Liverpool have scheduled rounds of talks with Manu Kone and Kefren Taram's agent no bids are submitted yet but both players remain on the list Reds will plan for the next signing in midfield after McAllister deal now finally complete um, I, do you all do you need a um, I think the red band is a tattoo someone said sorry bear 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 Surely not. Is it? That's incredible if so. I've never noticed this. I mean, not that I should have, but if it is, is it? I don't know. You have a look at that photo and you tell me. I can't figure that out from here. But if it is, you've caught something that I haven't caught there. Um, Obviously, back to Taram. I want Taram to be next, I don't know about yours, um, but he's been brilliant in the French League for Nice um, and I can't wait to, to bring another sign. It's great to see that Liverpool have got one through the door, but they're going again um, because we really need to develop this midfield as we all know. Um, it says, uh, let's see what we've got here. The deal marks the first piece of significant business by Jürgen Klopp this summer and the Reds are set to step up their recruitment drive ahead of the transfer window officially opening on June 14th. Um, after losing James Milner, Abbey Cater and Alex Oxley chamber on free transfers it is understood that the midfield remains the priority for Klopp and a newly appointed sport and director Jörg Schmadke uh, as they weigh up the next move ahead of the pre-season which starts for Liverpool on July 8th my word um, hopefully in a like if you actually think about it in a month's time footy will be back for pre-season for Liverpool and Liverpool want to get their players in before then so you can imagine if there's at least three more signings which I hope I want three more um, if there's three more signings you know give me a, a deal a week please I would love that in the countdown um, but yeah uh, let's see I'm all fired up for next season to ram 100% then Kone uh, can you look at my other super chat please as as somewhat oh hello found it there we go Ben sorry about that Super Chat 999. I think we have an absolute gem on our hands here and what a signing this guy has. So much quality and his potential is through the roof. He's only 24. He's, a, he's an absolute technician on that field. Klopp's got a star. I agree. Uh, thank you so much for the Super Chat. Really appreciate it. Agree with absolutely everything he said. 24 World Cup winner. Uh, was doing unbelievable in a Brighton team. Hopefully now with Liverpool going to another level with new signings and also still having having world-class players. Um, hopefully he can turn in and, and be one of our main, main men. Uh, someone's put Chloe, uh, spell my name wrong, but I'll let you off. Um, Leicester in talks with Gerard, apparently. Um, 
You know, he, he can't come back to the Premier League right now. Uh, so, yeah, maybe the Championship is a good deal for him. I After he left Rangers, I thought he would have went to, like, Portugal or somewhere. Um, decided to go to... Isn't it mad how this season, Steven Gerrard... Well, I'm saying this season, the season's over, but... This season had Thomas Tuchel still at Chelsea at one point and Gerard at Aston Villa in a relegation battle and Aston Villa are now in Conference League. Absolutely mental. Feels like it's all gone and merged into one um, because that's ridiculous. Someone's put Caicedo can extra interchange with Trent. He did play right back towards the last uh, couple of games of the season. Um but once again, I don't know whether Liverpool are actually going to go there. Another midfielder that we've been madly linked with is Kessie from Barca. Um, I think this is a load of crap, but I'll still read it out for you. A couple of the, you know, we were apparently in talks, you know, just floating the idea about that we might want him. Um, and Fabrizio Romano's came out and said there's no concrete, uh, there's not a concrete between Liverpool and Barca for Frank Kessie at this stage, despite recent rumours. This deal is not a priority for the Reds. And yet, his camp did come out towards the end of last week and said that it's all fake news. Um, I thought it was extremely far-fetched. The fact that he's saying uh, for Bettina Romano is even, like, talking about it might mean that there was something there. But, yeah, I never thought that was a, a reality and he's not being linked. Someone who has been linked with us, I, I want to get your thoughts on this. Ryan Gravenberch, what do you think about him? Because I don't mind him. It, someone's put quadruple as loathing. <laughs> not the quadruple, but a quadruple potential. We can we can have a look at that. Why not? Um, let's see. Just love listening in to Chloe. The positivity helps me through the day. There's a lot of things to be positive about uh, when it comes to Liverpool signing players. It's what get us, gets us through when there's no footy. Sadly, Liverpool couldn't get us through uh, week by week because we were that crap. Um, uh, but don't worry. Hopefully, Liverpool will uh, be back. Uh, someone's put Kefren to Ram is a must. I agree. I think he's boss. I think we should be signing him. Uh, let's, you know, hope that we do. Um, but who knows? Someone's put three words to Ram Kone and Nashio as our um, reaction to McAllister. Uh, and Nashio, Sporting Lisbon, lads. I don't think, like, I've heard rumours, but I don't think anything's actually fully like I don't think we've properly been linked with him a uh, decent player though I mean Ruben Dias obviously came from Benfica so he came from the the, the Portuguese league um, so we know that there's talent there the Portuguese league's filled with talent Luis Dias all of it it's just incredible João Felix was once there um, so yeah I, I don't know about Inacio but Sure, all for it. Uh, just give me anyone, really. Um, let's see. Prefer Kona into Ram over Gravenberch. Fair enough. Gravenberch will be a decent option. The fact that he's at Bayern and hasn't got in worries me a little bit, but also they've got Goretzka and Kimmich. Musiala. I, I can slightly understand why. Um, someone's put, I'd rather Lavia than Kona. Is that just due to the fact that he's got Premier League experience or... Is it is it more um, to do with you just like him as as a player more maybe? Um, to be fair, yeah, we've been linked with him, so I, I can I can see why. Uh, Viega has come up again. I, I think I'm saying it correct. Correct. I don't know to be honest. I haven't seen much of him. I've seen him score quite a few goals though, which excites me. Uh, Taram is like fab from 2019 season. Oh, do you remember when Fabinho was absolutely immense? Oh, bring back those days, please. We don't need Gravenberch's attitude. I don't know. I don't know the behind of the scenes of this, but apparently there's something there. I'll stop it. Lavia plays it to Diogo Jota. We've had this. Uh, but thank you for bringing it back again. We've thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, anyway, let's get some thoughts on what Klopp said about McAllister. Um... He said, of course, he is a player we have known about for a long time and I've watched him grow from a young boy coming into the Premier League to a man who has helped his country win the World Cup. That is quite a journey. My admiration and respect for what Brighton are doing is well known and Alexis has been a part of that journey that they have been on in becoming one of the toughest and best sides in the Premier League. I'm really happy his next steps will now be with us and we get to work with a player who is already excellent and experienced but also has so much more to come given he is just 24 years old. He is just 
as excited to be joining and working with us and that already makes it a good partnership but there is no pressure on him he is still a, so young so it is obvious he will only improve and our job is to help him take the next steps I'm grateful to everyone at the club who has helped make this transfer happen and I'm sure I speak for everyone here when I say I cannot wait to start working with Alexis it will be a bit of time before he is able to play at Anfield in front of our fans but in this modern world I'm sure he will see how our supporters will welcome him to Liverpool family when he looks at his phone today and sees the messages online and he'll probably just see the lovely little song that we've uh, AI created for him um, they will make him feel at home straight away I have no doubt about it neither do I if you see our comment section right now um, and you see what Twitter was like earlier Klopp you bang on um, we we really had, he, he hadn't even signed for us and we'd made him a song um, AI had but someone had tried to implement the, the thing to make uh, the AI make the song so yeah um, all in all absolutely class um, oh do you, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> Let's move on to the next comments. I'd say a few players, in my opinion, need to move on. No, it, it's probably true. We The problem Liverpool have had is we hold on to players too long at times. Uh, we are a bit too loyal. The reason why Ox, James Milner and Naby Keita all went on for a free, we bought Naby for quite a lot of money. I think it was around 60 mil. And we've let him go for a free. Yeah, over the period that he's been here, that's actually not that long. It, not that much money per year. Um, but yeah, I agree. Sometimes Liverpool do need to learn to move players on um, and get a little bit of money for them. Like McAllister, um, you know, Brighton saw the opportunity to in October, give him a new contract that had a release clause, not for the money that they might have wanted, but they knew he would leave on a free in the summer anyway. So to get themselves a bit of money, uh, they made him sign a new contract. Liverpool either needs to start doing that uh, or we need to move players on when the right time comes. Um, but yeah, I agree. Uh, Mac 10 and Canate are World Cup finalists. Yeah, one of them, I wonder I wonder what that meeting will be like. One of them is one beat the other in a World Cup final. Um Mad that Canate didn't start that final, but here we are. Um, you know, midfield three of Big Mac, Taram, and Kone would dominate everyone. I sure hope it would. Uh, anyway, nice one for joining me. It's been an absolute pleasure chatting with you guys. Um, honestly, today has been an absolute banger, and I've enjoyed it. I hope you've all enjoyed it. I hope someone's just put Inter Milan to win the UCL, and uh, yeah, same. Please, Inter this weekend. Come on. Actually, I saw a stat. Sorry, just before I go. Um, I don't want to get anyone excited and this is probably get clipped up. Um, but the last time West Ham won a European trophy or something, uh, Inter Milan won the Champions League that year. I don't know. That was on Twitter. It could have been an absolute wham, but obviously everything on Twitter is real. Uh, but lads, we've got absolutely loads more McAllister stuff over on Red Men Plus. So many, uh, you know, journalists chatting to us telling us what the play is like the insides uh, of the contract situation we have the lowdown from Neil Jones on Jano Insight and guess what you can watch all of this content and a year's worth of stuff coming out uh, for just £25 if you want to know how to do that I'm going to tell you how right now uh, to do that you just head to redmenplus.com join as a yearly club captain and enter the promo code are you ready are you ready Mac 10, MAC lowercase one zero without any spaces in it. You'll save 50% on uh, your payments. You'll only pay uh, 25 quid for 12 months. Bear in mind, this is including all of this transfers coming up and surely we're going to sign some more players. You've got the pre-season, you've got the season. Uh, you've also on top of that got the Bobby Firmino documentary that is coming out later this month. That is an absolute banger. Um, and we've got loads more stuff coming. Uh, so do make sure you head over there, check out that absolute bargain. Check out our merch. We've got merch out for McAllister. I should be wearing this in weeks to come and if I'm not, I'm going to have to have a word with Chris Pajak. Uh, but anyway, nice one for joining me. Up the Reds, get in, Mac 10. Our three-part documentary series, Bobby Firmino, Best in the World, is being released this June. And if you head to redmenplus.com and sign up, you're going to get early access to episode one, exclusive access to episodes two and three, and you're also going to get the full interviews with all of the contributors, including Jordan Henderson, Adam Lalana, Ian Rush, and so many more as well. Head to redmenplus.com.
everyone. I hope you enjoyed that show. Do you want to get your hands on some amazing Liverpool merchandise? Well, if you become a Red Men Plus Club legend on a yearly subscription, we'll instantly send you two merch codes to get you two pieces of merchandise from redmenmerch.com. T-shirts are amazing. Go and get yourselves one. Simply become a Red Men Plus Club legend on a yearly subscription, and that code will be in your inbox very, very shortly. Thank you.